everybody don't know why I'm British right now I'm so excited to film this video I know it looks really messy but that's because this is everything I'm gonna be showing you guys today and <laughs> it's a lot I'm so excited for this video it's been so long since I've done a thrift haul and thrifting is my biggest most favorite hobby it's like my pride and joy my addiction thrifting, flea markets, vintage shopping, like if I could do it as a profession, I would. Um, someone please tell me how I can do that because I would love to do that. Like be a personal shopper, but for thrifting because like I think I'm really good at it. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to be showing you guys all my recent finds. Um, a lot of it is actually home decor themed. Sorry, this is shaking. There. A lot of it's actually home decor themed because finally me and Oliver both have full-time jobs um that's why I've been pretty inconsistent with YouTube I actually don't know if I told you guys here on YouTube yet but I got a new job I was working at that apparel company some things happened <laughs> um I just really didn't like working there um everyone was really nice but there was just no training I was pretty underpaid like I was making the same as a Target cashier which is like $15 an hour here in New Jersey. Um, didn't get any health benefits. I'm not like, I knew all of this when I started, but I was just, you know, it was quarantine. It was the first job I heard back from. I was really excited that it was like in my field. Um, it just ended up not working out. And then the main thing that kind of threw me over the edge there was that someone in my office got COVID and my boss neglected to share that information with everyone and like held meetings and I didn't contract it thankfully but um, as soon as I found out that he had kind of like kept that under wraps a little bit um, I got really mad and I just walked out and I quit. <laughs> I think it was justified though um, I don't really feel too bad about it and yeah sorry I'm just fixing that so I quit um, that was fun and now I have another job um, and I really love it. It's so nice. It's like a couple minutes down the road. I could walk there if it wasn't so cold. Um, and it's so fun. I'm working as a veterinary receptionist slash kind of assistant. My oh, shaking, sorry. <laughs> I can't put my arms on the table. I'm working as a um, veterinary receptionist and kind of like assistant, like clerical person. Um, and I am loving it. It's so fun. I get to talk and like talk with really nice people all day. I love all my coworkers. They're all really sweet. I'm actually like making friends at my job, which is really awesome because I moved here and I don't know anybody. I just, you know, and I'm not, no offense to all of his friends, but like those are his friends, you know, they're all guys. Like he doesn't have any girlfriends he could really introduce me to, to like make friends around here and it's quarantine. So it's not like I'm like going to the gym or it's just been hard to meet people. So I'm really happy that, you know, I'm, meeting people at work and like they're actually really nice um and I get to see animals all day and I get an employee discount for Barb and Gertie and I'm just really loving it um it is a little bit like uh long hours I get 40 hours a week but I only work four days a week so those four days a week I work it's like 10 11 hour days um and then I get every Thursday off so yeah but it doesn't really bother me like I leave every day with a smile on my face instead of crying like I did at my last job so I'm not complaining anyways that was such a ramble but I just wanted to give you guys a little life update I'll put in the beginning of the video to skip through all this if you don't care about my life which is fair <laughs> so getting into the actual video um, the reason I brought up that I changed jobs is because me and Oliver have a full-time job now and that was like kind of our goal since getting here um, so I went kind of crazy and I've been starting to get like collect home decor stuff because you know we're in the process of saving we've been staying with his parents and now we're in a spot where we're like starting to think about moving out and looking at apartments and we've narrowed it down to a couple um, we want to have a pretty decent like seven months of rent or something saved up before we move out so we're not there yet but it's gonna be in the near future so I'm just getting excited and buying home decor stuff because that's just what I do. <laughs> I live in fantasy land a lot of the time, but that's okay. So anyways, um, yeah, I'll just start getting into this, all the stuff I got. So the first thing I got is actually, I'm wearing it. It's this really cute sweater. I love it. 
it's like a mustardy yellow but it's a cashmere hoodie and I love it it's so soft and I'll get into the rest of the clothes later on in the video because I don't feel like changing yet <laughs> but the next thing I got um, is this and I love it people are gonna say I'm obsessed with cats and it's true I am but I got this really cute kitty jar wish it would focus it's so shiny it's porcelain so anyways um i love ceramics they're kind of my new obsession i've also been feeling like my life has been lacking a lot of color so a lot of this stuff is really colorful because i've just been wanting to kind of expand my palette a little bit and i've been getting really into interior design too i'll put like a little montage here of my instagram saved page it's just it'll explain <laughs> why I got all of this stuff today, but it's just a really cute ceramic kitty jar for kitty treats and I keep um, Barb and Gertie's treats in here and it's so so cute And then the next things I got were these so I follow this one Instagram account that does really amazing glass blowing and like glassware uh. <laughs> And I've always wanted to buy something from them, but it's like custom glass is super expensive And then I found these at the thrift store and they're like so similar To the aesthetic and they have like these little rainbow flowers on them And they're just so beautiful and there was two so one for me one for Oliver and I thought that was perfect And they're just so funky. I love them. I don't know. I'll use them for just normal drinking But they're so pretty um, another thing I got for Christmas actually was an espresso machine. So I've been wanting, Oliver's dad has a ton of coffee mugs, but you know, I eventually, like I need to have some of my own at some point in life, so why not get them now? I also for Christmas bought myself a little coffee mug rack from Urban Outfitters. It looks like this, it's so cute, but I just wanted to have cute ones that are going to be like out and on display. So I got this really cute little green mug. This is like my favorite color right now and I love the little one finger handle. I just think it's so cute and unique. So I got this and then um, I got a little creamer dispenser. It's so cute. Excuse me. It's like a mustard yellow color. Um, matches the thing I'm going to show you guys here soon. And then I got <laughs> this. I couldn't resist. Ah, focus. There we go. It's a little kitty cat mug it has ears and everything um it's so cute i just fell in love with it i think it's so adorable so i got you know these three little mugs that are these colors very cute and then when i was in new york with my friend um augie and anna uh we went to a little thrift store there and i found these ceramic salt and pepper shakers and these are kind of like <laughs> it's really this really explains my mindset, but um, I saw these. I completely fell in love with all the colors and just how funky they are. I don't know what this design aesthetic would be called. Someone comment down below and let me know. I fell in love with them and I saw them and I decided like my entire house is going to be based around these salt and pepper shaker colors. <laughs> so, so far that's true. They match like totally perfectly with everything I've gotten and I love the colors. They're just really fun. And I think they're so cute. And they're also ceramic. And it's really fun. Next, <laughs> I got, guess what? More ceramic. <laughs> I have a problem. But these were so cute. They're little serving bowls. They're taped so they're not falling um, apart or anything. But it's like a nice baby blue. And they have little daisy flowers all around the edge. And they were actually made by someone named Beth in 1995 because it's engraved in the ceramic on the bottom which i think is a really fun little thing they were loved before me and it's nice to know that they were handmade i just think it's cute so i love these so much <laughs> and this one's kind of gross i don't even know why i'm showing you guys this but <laughs> i just ate out of them so excuse that but i got these adorable wooden bowls um, for acai bowls and for salads and stuff. I've just always wanted wooden bowls and these were in really awesome condition and there was two of them. It was like the thrift gods were just sprinkling some good luck juice on me. 
while I was thrifting because everything came in twos and everything was exactly my aesthetic. <sighs> okay, then the next thing I got that's home related is this rug. And I'll hold it back here. It's just a literal, like, plain linen rug. Hopefully you can see it all. It's got cute little edges, and it's just, kinda, it's just a basic rug. But I liked that it was, like, a cream color. I can always dye it if I want to, but um, I'll probably just keep it the color it is, because it's easy to, like, bleach and wash. But it's just really awesome quality. And I love it. And it's nice and big too. So and I got that. Then I think we're on to clothes now. Let me check. So I got some accessories. So these I actually got in New York when I was with Augie and Anna. Um, they're Kate Spade little kitten heels. I think I showed these in my New York vlog, but not a lot of people watch that. So <laughs> I'm showing it in here. I love these shoes they're literally the cutest shoes I think I've ever owned I'm obsessed with them and they're actually very comfortable because the heels not very tall and I just love how red they are so cute so that's nice and then I got these really 90s brown square toed boots that are like sock boots kind of they're really comfortable and I don't know I was just saying how much I really like color and I feel like a lot of people wear like grays and whites and blacks and stuff in the winter time but like I've always hated the notion that you have to dress dark in the winter so I've been trying to get like light colored winter wear or lighter than black and so far it's been pretty successful so <laughs> that's fun then these are not that exciting but I just got a nice patent leather black belt to go with whatever I need that's black and then I got another one um, that's like this really cool braided color and it's to match those boots. It's a pet peeve of mine. I have to match my belts to my shoes or else I just, just really bothers me when they don't match. It's a weird thing I have. Um, but yeah, got in a little belt and that was awesome. Now we'll get into the clothes. We'll do a little, oh wait, I take that back. I did also go to a flea market recently um, and I got this little white oddly shaped ceramic thing and I just keep dried baby's breath in there. I love it. And then I'm gonna just insert a video here or like photos probably even or better of the a couple other things I got there that I really, they're plugged in and like put away. So I don't want to bring them all the way up here. But I got these chairs, which are my pride and joy. I got them for $24. <sighs> and I love, 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 love them. They're like the prettiest, most regal chairs. And I just, they're probably my best thrift find of all time. I'm so in love. So that's the chairs. They're so awesome. I can't wait to put them in my future apartment. And then the other thing I got was this it's just a bank lamp but I really liked that it was white because a lot of the time bank lamps are actually like that kind of really saturated green color so I liked the white because it kind of goes with everything um, so that was really awesome find too <laughs> I love thrifting okay so now we'll just get in to the clothes so I'll film this part talking through and then I'll add on top um, like a try on of me over here or something that'll work right so first thing i got was this really awesome sweater from the gap the thrift store it's literally just a blue oh i'll do it beside it's just a big oversized blue turtleneck sweater it's like a really pretty blue color matches my bowls so that's really fun you know and then another thing i got was this really awesome 60s mod orange sweater. I'm obsessed. I love it. I have an obsession with sweaters. It's really bad, but it's okay. Then I got this one, which is so cute. I'm obsessed with all the details. I got this one in New York actually. And it has like 
little detail on the sleeves. It's just <laughs> so precious. And then this is another thing I got in New York. Um, it's just a little striped rainbow crop top. Not much to it there. And then another thing I got is this really awesome denim chore jacket. Um, not much there either. That's just <laughs> what it is. It's a denim chore jacket. <laughs> and then I just keep saying and then and then <laughs> I have an obsession I have so many obsessions in realizing I keep saying that but growing up I loved Free Willy and I just recently started watching it again and I found this sweatshirt at the thrift store that has a little orca on it so I had to get it that one's not that cute I just really wanted it <laughs> here's another really cute sweater I got I love the color on it and it's knitted and it's really quality it's just a blue oversized like cerulean sweater and it's really thick knit and I just love how vibrant the color is I just thought it was really beautiful and then save the best for last so I got this jacket here's how it looked before and then I again said I wanted more color in my life so I decided to dye it my favorite color green um, and this is how it looked after and I am obsessed. I replaced also the buttons with like these little flowers and I added two more buttons so that it could button down all the way to accessorize with it. I got this really cute little hat. It's pink. I feel so cute in it. And then I got some light blue gloves that match my scarf. And this is what I'm kind of talking about when I said I wanted to get more colorful winter wear. Because who says you can't wear colors in winter time? So I got a really nice, thick, uh, knitted blue scarf from The Gap at the thrift store with some gloves that match. And they have tech fingers too, which is like super epic. I'll just go ahead and try it on now. One sec. Okay, so that's pretty much everything I got from the thrift store. I'm just gonna include pictures of like three more things here, here, <laughs> and here. Those I just ordered off Depop and they'll be here soon and I'm super excited for those as well. So <laughs> that is my most updated thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and follow all of my social medias all two of them <laughs> and um i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching